Morning, apologies for the music. We're currently in Zara because today it is the day after the whole Top Marks week. And I wanted to do today a bit of a behind the scenes to show you the vibes of what happens after the show. Very quickly from one day to the next, sort of dies out. Everyone leaves back to work, school, all the spotters head back. There's still a few around. But it's also when a lot of the really, really nice cars come out. Last night there was a bronze LaFerrari and a Bugatti Chiron really late at night. We've just seen photos. So maybe we'll see some cool cars around, but mainly it's just to show you what we do on sort of like a day off uh, going around Monaco. So currently we're in Zara and with James and Paul right here. So, uh, is that your... <laughs> Look at this hat he's wearing. Exciting. So we're doing a little bit of shopping. Next week we're going to Italy and we thought we'd buy a few clothes. Italy, exciting territories. <laughs> exciting <laughs> territories. So yeah, I reckon let's just get shopping, get some clothes. I clearly need to update my wardrobe because look at this disaster going on right now so yeah <laughs> fashion disaster <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say anything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just uh, let's get some clothes Okay, we got a new look here. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> got the Pharrell vibes going, as James has said. This is the type of thing that you buy, wear you once, and then that's it. Throw away. Yeah, you should put. Oh no, there was a pink one a minute ago. A pink one? No, no, yeah, the pink jacket. Oh yeah. There's a pink jacket over there. Let's go with the pink, pink leather jacket. You'll just look like a salmon. Yeah. <laughs> Roman that one. Smile more. In Zara. Ooh. Is that actually Roman mm -hmm. Atwood? Yeah, yeah. Roman Edward, if you're watching. Not true. Suzara. Yeah. Unless he's still a color. We don't know. Yeah, what. maybe. <laughs> Unless he sold it. To actually, them. I wouldn't really like to sue Zara because it's no, now Ortega. Aren't they the wealthiest Ortega clothing, or whatever. clothing chain yeah. in the world? Interdex, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been a fool. Yeah, mate. You rock the salmon. <laughs> sunglasses. Thoughts and sunglasses. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there we go, salmon. What's <laughs> Make sure you get my whole outfit in because it, right goes, right, it goes. Back you got the back. socks, the leggings, and the shorts. That's your thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clothes shopping with copy. <laughs> well, I can't tell if I look like a Miami play player for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. I got the new shades on. There's people who are about to walk into you, but you're good. Okay, we're now at Nike. Oh, look. Rafa Nadal, he won the tournament yesterday he just did, in yeah. Monaco. But yeah, got those t shirts. And now we're going in because I think Paul wants to buy something and he didn't find anything that pleased him as Zara. So, let's check out Nike. What did you get in the end? Nothing. Oh, I thought you got. Oh, okay. I thought no. you got a hoodie. No. You didn't do it. I tried to get a hoodie. Now that we've blown all of our spare cash in shopping centers, we are going to McDonald's for lunch. <laughs> no, we actually just really felt like some food, so we're gonna grab a quick McDonald's and then. Are you filming after? Yeah. So you're yeah. filming a hurricane. So I might just come along with you to show these guys like a behind the scenes yeah, sort of yeah, point yeah. of view. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool one, isn't it? So it is a very cool one. Yeah, let's get some food and then let's hit the road back up to the house to meet up with the hurricane and uh, yeah, get going. Seb, what's your typical McDonald's order? I always get the same and it's very boring. It's just like nine nuggets with a big fries and water. That's it. That's all I get. Look at me, I'm not massive, <laughs> but I always get the same thing. What's yours? In the UK, I would have a quarter pound of meal. But okay. uh, I received my information from Pulp Fiction that because of the metric system over here, you guys call it a Royale with cheese. So <laughs> well, no, that's what I'm going for. Royale with cheese. <laughs> yeah. right. so what are you having? I'm getting a lot of stuff. I'm getting at least a mini Big Mac with big fries, big Coke. He's going big. I would say two or three triple cheeses. I don't know if they have them here. And go like, big or go home. a box of nine nuggets. I'm just gonna buy the whole restaurant. Oh, I am gonna work, go back upstairs and get myself a Starbucks uh, chocolate chip frappuccino on top, you know, to dunk my burger in. <laughs> This is 
find us like little updates every once in a while. Food done. Walking back to get the cars in the car park. We're driving up because uh, the guys of the Hurricane are waiting up there for Paul to go fall. Paul to go film. Who's ahead of us? I'm out of breath because it's like a massive hill there. But yeah, we're gonna go film with the Hurricane. And I don't know, don't know what kind of video he wants to film. Obviously, you'll be able to see his video in the ch in his channel, which is in the link down below. But uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. Like this Hurricane's in a stunning ruby wrap. You've seen it before in the previous videos. Should be fun. And we're home. We have uh, a bunch of cars here actually. Squad, we have got this super lowered Audi, which looks absolutely insane. 12 inch rims at the front is just, it looks unbelievable. I love obviously red and gold. Duh, it's a very good look for me. We've then got a V10 Audi R8 as well, right here, which is also pretty slam. And then the Hyper that Paul is going to film for with the Beautiful body kit and this sort of ruby wrap, which looks absolutely we unbelievable. Um, so yeah, we just drove back. I've got my shopping here, and we're just gonna follow whatever Paul says and follow his schedule and just film it behind the scenes for you. Right now is the socializing part. We've only got half battery on the Twizy, which is slightly worrying for driving up and down, but we're heading towards the famous lay-by on Route de la Turbie, which is where we always film, but we might go up to the new road we found in the R8 Spider a few days ago in a tiny bit, let's let these people pass. And we're gonna be filming the Hurricane. We've got the R8, which is actually a V8, not a V10. That was my bad earlier. They've just changed up exhaust exits to V10 exits, so it looks like a V10. And uh, the other Audi behind, and that two Hurricane, so Paul's and the kitted out one, are just in front of us, pulling into the lay-by. Well, we're now here, we've now got Paul doing his thing, filming the cars, it's quite a nice setting. This lay-by we spent a lot of time at recently. And uh, yeah, you can see his setup. He's got his little tripod. He's got his camera ready. And we're basically just gonna film Paul filming, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna take photos of you filming him filming the car. bushes yeah all the way down there he's filming flybys now so we're getting flybys of the ruby hurricane uh, which is driving up and down and then i think he's gonna hop in do his talking pieces inside and there was actually just a mclaren p1 that just casually drove past us we couldn't get it on film but yeah, and then we're gonna hop in the twizzy and do some rolling shots i believe this is how these videos are made that's quick I think they're getting some good flybys. The car sounds absolutely insane. So I think uh, I think they probably got some good stuff. Now it's Paul's job to run back up the hill. Well, the police came over to pay us a little visit to say hi because uh, we were driving. We, we were driving a little bit fast. Nothing mad. And uh, they just can say respect the yeah, <laughs> respect the speed limits. You can make as much noise as you want, park here, do photos, but respect the speed limits. So now we're just gonna cruise down, do some rolling shots. Paul's gonna talk about the car and the body kit in uh, in the car. And yeah, so if you want all the information on the body kit, I'm gonna put a link down below as well. And then you'll be able to go see Paul's. And yeah, we're just gonna keep going. He's now doing his intro over there. Hopefully that P1 will come back and we can capture on camera. But yeah, so far so good, I reckon. got my hoodie up because it's absolutely freezing now we've come to location number two which is uh, somewhere you've been seeing a lot in the last couple of days we've got the boys with drones coming out we've got one serious inspire 
drone, Inspire 2, Inspire 1, Inspire 1, and then uh, Mavic down here as well. We don't have ours, do we? But because it's behind the, behind the scenes, we're just going to film sort of everything that's going on. And I think Paul's going to get a few more shots of the car up here, and then we're going to wrap up that video and go back. James is editing in the house, so we'll go catch up with him, see how his editing's going, and then probably just head down for dinner and call it a day. But yeah, it's pretty cool to actually be here, not filming a proper video, stressing out about what's going on with uh, with all the different cameras and angles and having to think about all of that and just filming a behind the scenes video. It's much more chill and you guys get to see how uh, we put these things together. So it's kind of, a, I think, a different angle for you, which is exciting, but it is very cold up here. We're about 800 meters, 700 meters up. So you do feel the fresh air. We're back home, we got the two orange cars parked up. We got orange crew there and red crew, not that it's full yet, but we're getting there. Uh, let's go inside, let's see what James is doing. I know he was editing. You happy with how the video went, Paul? Yeah, I think it went well. I think it yeah? was good. I, I mean, that car it's so is so sick. I was, I was saying to Zed, like, because we see LaFerraris and like all these hybrid yeah. cars all the time, like to see like a custom Hurricane like that, yeah. I actually got more excited about seeing that for the yeah. first time than I would uh, like a hyper car. Yeah, it's so, so cool that car. So, what do we reckon James is up to? James? He's got his headphones in. Yeah, probably. Let's go downstairs. We got some good videos. Yeah? You editing? Go, yeah, mate. This Red Rock Road action is where it's at. It's how crazy, was, How was filming with the, uh, it was good. The, the crazy hurricane? It was good, it was good. We're doing like a behind the scenes video today. So tell us what you've been up to for the last couple of hours. Well, the thing with um, going to the Red Rock Road is, as you, as you well know, yeah. you end up getting about, and as you, recently found out you mm -hmm. end up getting so much footage yes like i really yeah, like need to learn to almost edit as i go yeah you know what i mean like and if you can put together your sort of your, your sort of um storyboard as you're going yeah it helps so much but yeah. because there's so much going on you're like film this film that three gopros different mm -hmm. angles and then you've got to try and sync up all of the audio to make yeah. it overlap so it makes sense when you're cutting different things That's and, mad. so this edit is happening now um, this. Yeah, it's it's looking it's looking quite nice. It just reminds me of how sick this road is. Yeah, oh, really. it's, it's, it's getting there, but um, oh, the road the road, road is just is, is just ridiculous. You know what I'm <laughs> Like it's so, I don't know you're editing with a bottle of vodka right there. <laughs> well, yeah. this vodka, so I, I didn't film it, but it was on my Instagram stories yeah. last night. We're driving through town, like four of us in a convoy, and some dude jumps out of Sass, which is a nightclub club in town, with this bottle of vodka. Yeah. And just goes, James, 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 uh, on behalf of RK Vodka, we- There you we, go, plug, there you go, RK plug. Vodka. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we want you to have this bottle. Yeah. So I would, then I was driving around the rest of the night with this bottle of vodka like rolling around. <laughs> the police uh, stop you. The police stop me. I was like, Listen, I'm sorry, nothing sir, to do yeah, with me. Yeah. Nothing to do with me, mate. All so, right, uh, perfect. Well, we might end yeah. our video here because you've basically seen what it's like to have a day here. We're all going to sit down, edit, go down, get some food later on. Yeah, and smash some food. Yeah, we're going to yeah. smash some food and then we're going to film a bit for Paul of driving in the mountains later on. Awesome. Because at night time there's no one on the roads and you can really hear the cars properly. But this is what it's like to basically have a day with us. I'm happy I managed to find myself a new pair of shades, two t-shirts, and I think it's been a successful day. Thank you for watching. As per usual, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again for another video, I believe, tomorrow. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hey, Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. No Juliet.